Welcome back to the conversation. We're talking about how to handle your business. Let's get back into it. We're talking to media mogul, Neil Nelson. I want to get into what you do and how you do it, but I still want to come back to that debt component first. So go ahead. Sure. So as it relates to what I do and, and how I do it, we have several media properties. We own Atlanta Black Star, which is our, our largest property, mm-hmm. Fenora, which is a health and wealth ne- and health a wealth property, mm-hmm. Cello League, which is a sports property, and we own Desta, which is a AVOD. And so we pretty much have And for a, folks who don't know what an AVOD is. Yes, it's as an advertising supported video on demand platform. So okay. think about Netflix without the subscription fee with ads. Gotcha. Okay. And you talk about the debt piece and why the debt piece is so important for us. There are certain industries where you can generate a lot of cash. Mm-hmm. Media is one of those industries. Mm-hmm. And what we've been able to do is make sure that we reinvest our money in our growth, but also put aside a large chunk of that, as supposed to spending it and splurging it, investing it in the future. One mm-hmm. of the things that I want to make sure that was that we can do as a company is that I set a goal that said that if we didn't make any money for three years, we should run our company still as if nothing had happened. So that basic principle of having enough in the reserves that if you sort of miss a chick, so to speak, you're still going to be OK. Exactly. How long did it take for you to get to your business to that level, though? It took us, I want to say it probably took us about um, four years in. Four? That's it? That's yeah. impressive. Yeah. So how? Like when it is time to, you know, spend some money on the big assets, on the big resources, for a small business owner who's watching, what do you say? Because partnerships, I'm partnerships, gotcha. partnerships is key. One of the things Tell that more. one of the things that changed our business trajectory is that we were invited. So we helped arrange a uh, an event at Google New York office, and we met other companies there, and we were very intentional. In, in partnering with them to do the things that we couldn't do as well as they could do. We focus mm. on the things that we can do really well. So it sounds like you're saying, make sure you can find the need that others have and be able to fulfill it, right? That plus finding people who can complement what you're doing better mm-hmm. than you can, mm. right? So we understood that we couldn't recruit the highest tech people to build the best tech stacks. Right. So we went and acquired it through partnerships and contractors. Give me an example of a problem that was really frustrating, was really hard. You're like, I, how are we going to get around this and how you solve it? The problem and the solution. Sure. The problem for us was traffic. Mm-hmm. How are we going to get enough traffic to get enough eyeballs to make enough money? Mm-hmm. We spent one year on that problem. Hmm. We, it was very difficult. And the way we got around to it was that we went and got other people into the organization that could help us think through it. When I recruited about four or five people that were, some of them were engineers as well. Mm -hmm. And one of them actually helped find the solution. Uh, So was it looking at the strategy or the marketing of a good strategy or both? It was, it was, it was looking at the, finding the right people to think about it in a way that we weren't thinking about. Uh Fresh eyes. And so sometimes you need fresh eyes into the, in the room to look at what's going on because we're there for a year looking at this thing and, and we're seeing the same thing. Right. It's gotten kind of stagnant. Exactly. And, and he came in and saw something different that we hadn't seen. Gotcha. And your, your focus on media really has a lot to do with uh, changing the narrative yes. of black people and highlighting and showcasing the, what's, what is good because there's so many good stories out there, right? right? Yeah, it is. It's, it's also getting our people to think differently about the world. I think that, you know, one of the things that I learned uh, coming up is that who you think you are determines what you end up doing in the world. Mm. And so I wanted our community to understand that we were not what we were predicted to be for the last few centuries, that Mm -hmm. we are more than that, that we didn't begin in this world as enslaved people, that we had a longer heritage and history that dwarfs this little moment in time called our enslavement in the West. And so that was really the crux of what we wanted to get out to our people Mm. on a global scale. It feels like that's one of the lessons you learned initially from your father, right? So when you were in rural Jamaica as a child, did you think, I'm always going to be here? Did you know I'm meant for more and I'm going to do big things? I always knew I was meant for more. I always knew. You know, in Jamaica, I was raised by my mom and my grandparents. Mm-hmm. And my grandmother would always um, tell us stories every night. We didn't have a television 
where I grew up. Right. So every night she would set down, uh, set us down on the veranda and tell us these West African folklore, Anansi stories mm. and biblical Anansi stories. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And so those stories really invigorated my thinking, my passion, my belief that I could be more than what this current reality was. Absolutely. Nothing like a Nancy the Spider to get your mind right exactly. as a kid. If you don't know, you got to look that up. Exactly. Thank you for that reminder there. All right, we're going to go to a break, mm -hmm. but I know you've got some really great advice that you want to share with a young, up-and-coming future media mogul who's got big dreams and big visions like you did, right? Sure. All right, good deal. So when we return, Neil is going to share some of his pearls of wisdom with a young man, this fella right here, me. Zach. He's got big plans, big dreams, and some really, really good ideas. Just need some good advice to help him move on up. All right. You're going to hear his story when we return. Stay with us.